Chavez is... It's interesting. Okay. <laughs> and carrying the American flag into the ring. Exactly what his corner won't want him to do. Well, they had what they called were not exactly smooth. Chavez scored with a left. Taylor with a left. After using it to set up other punches. Not to do damage or to score heavily. And then he, what he'll do, he'll pull on the attack. Body punches. He must land body punches to slow Taylor down. Slowly against Sammy Fuentes here in November. Goes. Hitting Chavez to the hip. The expectation of Taylor's camp is that he can... In the mouth. Yep. It's dripping out from between his mouth guard. Good right hand inside. The right hand training. So it could be that an old cut has been reopened here. Beginning to land with more consistency. Right hand leads. Doing the damage for Chavez now. A solid... Well, for the first five minutes and 50 seconds, we watched this fight at his tempo. Taylor lands a vicious combination. He did what you were talking about before. He threw three or four punches, and then he got out of there. But they didn't linger. Landing many more body blows than Chavez. And that is Meldrick. Because of his Punch speed, Meldrick is starting and finishing most. Now, whether or not Meldrick keep up his tempo is yet to be seen. Meldrick trading up. Chavez still that Philadelphia fighter ego to get in the way of it. This in the first three rounds, according to punch stat computations, still trading four blows to one for Chavez. Chavez tries the left inside. Taylor comes home. He's moving, Jim. He won this fight. Fine fashion. Now, Gishin for the bout, Ray, called it thunder meets lighting. At, at the minor division, but he still punched, punched, still punched so well in there. He's, to clarify what I said, Roger Mayweather and Sammy Fuentes ended their bouts on the stools in their corners. Not an early lead on the scorecards against the man who is 66 and 0. Meldrick Taylor. It's a very good performance by Meldrick Taylor. He's been doing what he needs, needs to do. Boxing. Just... Right hand lead by Chavez Lance. Chavez is looking for Meldrick Taylor's head. That's not an easy target. To keep Chavez occupied. Ch well, the hand speed of Meldrick Taylor is so blinding. The first thing that Ch He's getting a little tired to stay outside and that he's finding, trying to get rest in there. It's best back with a bristling uppercut. And another flurry for Meldrick Taylor. This corner, I don't know if I can read into their minds, but it seems to me they were saying... A minute of round five. Chavez landed three solid left hooks inside. Still exchanging to the body effectively. They trade punches inside and Meldrick... And in doing so, he's allowing Meldrick Taylor to get some of the combinations off. This is a mess. They are all Chavez Nevada judges. Usually start. Next to be. Solid left hand by Meldrick Taylor. Still a lot of bounce. And that gets back to the fact, Ray, that Shatter, and yet he's out punching and out scoring Chavez. Well, his plan coming in was simply to win. Ray, I don't know if I have much confidence in that right now. Taylor still blistering Chavez inside. Hunting it out. Solid left hook in. Get out, get out. I'm told they were 15 who control boxing and who sit next to me. Chavez landed a left. Taylor flurries furiously and move around. And Chavez does not fight this. This is not his fight. Fought Roberto Duran's fight. It's been just the opposite. He is forcing Chavez to fight his fight. He is Crowd chanting Mexico. Very well. 
Now there's something you never saw. Meldrick. For the love of God, they know how desperate the situation is. Taylor lands a right hand lead to start the as an unnecessary chance to get back into this. Look at the speed of Meldrick Taylor's able to get him to the ropes, and he's being out punched two or three to one. To this bout, an underdog against the unbeaten Julio Cesar Chavez. And you know what I see now, Jim, the fact that I've seen more by shots thrown by Taylor than I have by Chavez. And the left hook to the body is supposed Triple to be Chavez is throwing him down. Savage left hook to the body by Taylor. And another. Hill gives Taylor a serious warning about low blows. I don't think either man's will has cracked yet. He's carried out George Benton's game plan to perfection. Whoa, beautiful Trading punches inside and... Brilliant stuff from Meldrick Taylor. Chavez on the verge of going down. And Chavez, the great body puncher, is reduced to head hunting. So I'm watching the effects of the punches. When Taylor... Blood again from the mouth and the nostrils. Both the legs. beginning to close. Goes to that combination to the body and to back to the head. Taylor... So much heart here. We see two real champions here tonight. Again in round 10, Taylor threw more punches. It's impossible to conceive that Chavez is in any way disappointed like left hooks at a time. It has been set his streak in before thousands of his countrymen. The impressive thing, he's still saying comedy. It's 101, Meldrick Taylor, I think he's run his way to a unanimous decision. If you're a fight fan, apparently push Chavez out. Play it safe and box. Be with Chavez, it's more so with Taylor. He's finally like he's behind on points. Well, they're both tired. Watch your head. But another solid left hook from Meldrick Taylor. Fight. I can't Unbelievable. believe it. Unbelievable. Richard I'm... Steele stopped the fight with Buick. He knocked him out with two seconds left. Julio Cesar. 